Hey everyone, Adventures in Pop Culture. I'm Jay, that's Jefferson. Ooh, I got a new name. Jefferson. I like it. Jay, that's, wait, you were born Jefferson. I sound very presidential. Yeah. Oh, you do. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you got that, your, your voice sounds presidential. Hoity-toity. Yeah. Yeah, I've been dealing with some allergy stuff. It doesn't make your voice sound bad. It actually sounds nice. Probably sounds sexy. Yeah. Mm. And I sound like a high-pitched loser. Hey, ladies. You got a nice haircut going. I, my hair looks crappy. You got a good voice. How Ugh. you doing? Jeez. Mm. Jeez. You like stuff from the 80s? <laughs> I'm from the 80s. <laughs> That's a good line. That's like a really good line. Uh, so, this is kind of a random video. Um, most of it is from one of our favorite spots, uh, the Pop Culture Exchange. Yeah. Fantastic store. Omaha, Nebraska! Oh. That dude's always really fun to talk to. Yeah, he's uh, super nice. Yeah, picked up some fun stuff. There's like one book. But besides that, all of this stuff is uh, from the, the the Pop Culture Exchange. So if you haven't been, go! And your little, two little dolls aren't from the you are right. Pop Culture Exchange. You are right. Somehow I forgot that. That was a garage sale in town. But yeah. yeah. You want to get to it? Yeah, I'm, I'm going, going first. Oh, no! <laughs> King Kong Bundy. That's cool. God, isn't that cool? Look at his face. Oh, I love these ones. Those are so cool. Yeah. Like, when you think of... Like, those are definitely my favorite action wrestling action figures. They're just so classic. They're awesome. LJN. They have a really nice selection of them at their store, too. Yeah. And, like, for the most part, pretty good shape. Yeah. 1985. If, and if they're not in good shape, they're priced accordingly. Yep. Which, which this, is nice. This is about as nice as you see for 1985. I yeah. love that. LJN, when they made shitty video games and, rest, and wrestling yeah. action figures. But, yeah. God, I love his face on that. Definitely cool. My first one, it's on the smaller size. I got it from their dollar bin at a uh, pop culture exchange. It is a mask rich wrist watch from uh, 1996. Currently, it's not working, but you can just pop another battery in there and get it going. I I imagine this was some sort of giveaway. Does it does it give any hints? Can no, it, the... it doesn't. Um, this is just new Burger line tel King television. Lot, yeah, I, I, I think it's either Burger King or like a cereal giveaway. Oh, sure. Or something like that. Or even like go to the movie and you could get something. Because they used to do those too. Yeah. You know, even recently they, they've still done those with like the Hunger Game movies. Those little medallions. Oh, yeah. That so, was a heavy medallion on that cup. Like it, yeah. made, it made it really hard to drink your soda. But yeah. I mean, I love it. I mean, we were huge marks. We got three of those things for yeah. some reason we, we that's another collection we can do is all the movie cups we collect uh, it's a lot of them <laughs> it's a lot of them some but, would say garbage yeah. <laughs> hey they're good drinking glasses oh hell yeah you fill one of those up that's just several hours you stay hydrated yeah definitely mm -hmm. but yeah there we go yeah the yeah. mask this came from Canesville because we hit up Canesville and pop culture exchange in the same day uh, another movie novelization, Varsity Blues. Awesome. And this sucker is wordy, you know? <laughs> so this came after the movie, right? It had to have. I don't really know exactly how most of these let or me, some of these were. Let words. me see how it's phrased. A novel by, based on, yes, based so on it's, the screenplay. Okay, at, okay. Based so it on definitely the screenplay. Is. There's that really famous, um, somebody did a novelization of the Back to the Future screenplay, and like they got a rough cut of it, and when you, there's like a, this guy like breaks down how crazy this this novelization is. That's a great that. read. Great, it's super cheap on Amazon. <laughs> Highly recommended. I think I'm gonna try and flip through and find find the part in this where it's. I, I don't, don't want, want your life. life. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. I, I wish you would. Just Take, see how ridiculous. You don't have to read the book. You know? Yeah. And let's let's maybe. see here. I don't know. Jonathan Moxon, a familiar voice voiced out of the car's PA system. You're under arrest for not being naked with some sophomore chick who wants to bathe you with her tongue. <laughs> oh boy. Boom! Risque. My second item, also from the dollar bin. Nice. It is Skeletor from Masters of the Universe. Oh. And, I mean, it's in rough shape. There's definitely some excess wobbling going on. But really... I, I think it's in pretty decent shape and, oh. and for a dollar it's definitely worth picking up um another thing that i like about the pop culture exchange though is what i've already said is that they really uh appreciate condition and they price things accordingly oh yeah because even at flea markets and stuff they're gonna be like oh this is skeletor I, we're gonna par price him for like 20 bucks because it's him and it's from he-man it's like yeah. mm, he's in pretty rough shape though 
Brother yeah. Joe had a nice collection of uh, He-Man action figures, but he played with them. Yeah, so, and so, they were, so did we. Yeah. And they're just destroyed. Right. We have another one of these, but I think he's missing an arm <laughs> and a leg, and his head's like scratched off. That's what I got. These were from, you know, this. these were from that garage sale. Um, the Pillsbury Doughboy. I don't know if, you know, if it's his, I'm assuming it's his wife. I don't remember what they called her, but Mrs. 1979... Doughboy. And 1978, I believe. But pretty good shape. For and she never took off, right? You know I, what's crazy? 71 and 72. Sorry, 1971 <laughs> 1972. That, that is crazy. My God. Um, I don't know. Maybe back in the 70s they were both. I mean, he obviously stole the show. But. Yeah. I can see why this wouldn't be as marketable. Yeah. Kind of. It's kind of like... um. I don't really know what words I'm going for, but I love having these. Pretty good shape. Buck, a, buck, buck and a buck fifty. Very Definitely good. cool. Definitely cool. I picked up another uh, big box PC game. I guess this is kind of medium sized big box PC game. Yeah, but that's it sweet. is Artie the Anteater. Um, and yeah, I just I love the artwork on the front. It's got fun artwork on the back, and then it's for the Commodore 64, which I like because that's very iconic. And the price is just right there. You don't see that a lot, do you? Yeah. And back in the day, this would have been twenty nine ninety five, and that's we're talking eighties. Wow. So that's a lot of money. The nineteen eighty three. That's a lot of money. Great, great design. Though. What I like the most about it, though, is it is from the company Data Most, <laughs> and that just has to be a rip off of Daddy East. Has to be. I mean, Daddy East was a juggernaut in gaming back in the eighties. Um, so data most like we'll get you data yeah, east. <laughs> yeah data most but yeah i love it it's in really nice shape um i think i spent 10 bucks on it which something in that good of shape i'm yeah. i'm definitely worth doing great shape actually wow, cool. i did 9.99 nice every time this is a probably the best um vhs board game we now currently own and i probably the most well known um we know we were talking with Tony, and all of us remember this one having commercials and stuff. Yeah, definitely. Uh, he said he has played it, and it's actually pretty fun. I would That's like what the to owner think... said too. Oops, why is this upside down? No. Yeah, he said it was. He said he's played it like five or six times. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, boy, I would like to think maybe some game night uh, we play this stuff. I think we absolutely have to play the next board game. Yeah, that we have because it's um september now it's soon going to be october yeah. and it's of the season so definitely play it yeah it looks man it looks sweet it's heavy as all get out too yeah I, I, yeah i would like to think we would play this well but. it's even that fun side art where it makes it uh you know the handles for the coffin yeah that's neat very good shape it is definitely pick it up for fun. a little bit but probably have a dozen or so other vhs games and this is probably yeah. the nicest i bet this is a lot more fun than um the soap opera one we have oh no uh, i was thinking college football oh yeah i think i have like five college football ones yeah because uh, i just i mean I, I would play them i just have a hard time imagining would you they, though because i don't think i would <laughs> aged, aged well at all yeah. like i think it would just be such obscure stuff what a sport those things you would play for the college football yeah. vhs game. Uh, I would. <laughs> yeah. uh and last but not least i got this awesome binder filled with pogs uh the front says flipper caps from West Rim Crafts, hmm. and it is filled with some glorious, oh yeah, glorious pogs, both front and back. Man, look at some of those crazy designs. Yeah, there's some licensed stuff, there's some not licensed stuff. Oh, you got wrestling right there. Ooh, I remember that one. Yeah. That's, that series. Some, de ooh, hot air balloons. Gotta have Remember it. Remember these ones? They those came with something, and everybody had it. Ooh, the Huskers. A lot ones. of sparkly ones. Yeah, neat. Definitely fun. You know what's gonna be fun? Like twenty years from now, when we're like we're hard up for video content, going through individual pods. Kawasaki, can't wait. <laughs> can't wait. Can't wait. Uh, that'll be great. Yeah. Yeah. So there's that, and guys, but wait, there's more. Oh, there's but there's more. There's one more item that we Ooh, picked up. This is the good one, and it's too big to show here. So we got to go out in the field to another part of the store. So, I can't wait. I can't wait. Can we do it right now? Let's go right now. All right. So this is the big one. Um, they he uh, they had their um, Halloween stuff out, and they had some posters up. And this is the one we decided had to come back to the store. Demonic Toys. Um, the tagline is, they want to play with you. <laughs> Demonic Toys. 
Um, one thing we really love about it is that on video cassette, also available on laser disc. Yeah. Clearly, that's awesome. So it says uh, screenplay by David S. Goyer, which is interesting, based on an original idea by Charles Band. Mm, I think pop, <laughs> I think there was probably two or three puppet masters by the time this sucker came out. <laughs> based on an original yeah. idea, like I feel like they probably had to put that in. Uh, Full Moon Entertainment, along with Paramount, just oh, this is so cool. I don't remember seeing this. Maybe though, we used to rent a lot of horror. Um, a real gem to find would be the soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's also no available. No kidding. No kidding. But uh, oh man, awesome! Just what a great poster. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Well, right. brother. Framed it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do Anything that. else you wanted to say about it? No. Nope. nope. I just want to stare at it. Sweet. <laughs> Too sweet. Oh, I didn't say it. Let's do it again. Okay. Too sweet. Two brothers in Nebraska. Pop culture's what they love. Join them as they talk about all of their cool stuff. Adventures in pop culture. I think I've heard of them.